<laughs> oh boy. We should have nights like these more often. How about a girls' night next week? Y you know, just the two of us. You got it, girl. Good night. Try to keep it in your pants. There's a time and place for this. Cause when we step out, we can show the scene, and that means there will be no dancing on me. Gabriel, Diego, anybody home? Hmm, that probably means Gabriel is out with him as well. Cool, I have the room to myself. What are you doing here? That's my bathroom! What do you mean? Haven't your parents taught you to knock? I thought you were out with Diego! Why are you still inside? Get out! So, um... Bear with me. I need time to recover. Come on, I was in my towel and I was behind a curtain. Fair point. Do you know anything about Diego? Only that he is somewhere he isn't supposed to be. We aren't allowed to leave campus, yet he's at his friend's apartment nearby. Greetings, I am uh, looking for Layla. There I am. I come by to notify you that your room in the girls' dorm is now ready. You may move there as soon as you like. Good night. Will you seriously move there? What kind of question is that? I am not supposed to be sleeping in a boys' dorm. It's just that... <sighs> We have really been getting close lately. Eh, ah, forget it. I'll just help you pack. I'm Layla, your new roommate. Hi, my name is Naomi. Just by looking at you, I think we're gonna get along well. Come on in. Wow, that's a lot of pink. You don't mind, do you? If you want to, we can change the color. Are you kidding me? It's amazing here. Way cozier than my previous dorm. I was in the boys' dorm due to a mix-up. Ooh, spicy. Spill the tea. We aren't sleeping tonight. Excuse me, miss, but it's outside consolation hours. 
Why was my daughter put in the boys' dorm? Miss, that was a misunderstanding and it has been fixed. Your daughter is now in the correct dorm. Sorry for the mistake. But by law, we owe you compensation of $1,000. Fine, then you'll be taking me to dinner tonight. Excuse me? The money isn't going to spend itself, is it? You are spending that money on me this evening. So, what's the fanciest place around here? Whoa, now that is a woman too good for old me. What? Am I seeing things? No, 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 no. There's no way my mom is here. Walking with the principal? Huh? huh? Be right back. Layla? What are you doing here? I would like to ask you the same thing. I'm spying on my dad. He's with this woman I've never heard about. That woman is my mother. Does that mean... Your mother is dating my father? We shouldn't jump to conclusions. Let's follow them. Let's go. Oh, by the way, I saw your post on the school about me. You haven't even seen me shirtless. How do you know I have a six-pack? Well, maybe if you didn't wear shirts from the kids section, I wouldn't know what they are like. Wow, I've never exited campus before. Come on, it sounds like we're in some matrix. So what if we exit the campus once? I really don't see why we can't leave premises unless it's a vacation or we're with our parents. Looks like a dumb rule to me. I know why. Years ago, back when my dad was in the early years of his career, one student snuck out of campus at night and... <sighs> oh no. However, we are technically with our parents. Let's go. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Ugh, why is the principal- I mean, your dad had taken my mom to the most expensive restaurant in town. After them! Layla, wait! We can't go there. It's the most expensive place around here. We don't have any money. What if we break something? Follow my lead. Everything will be okay. Whoa, for such prices, there are a lot of people here. There we go, I see their table. What is the principal doing here? Huh? Layla? What is she doing here? I hope none of the students see us. Don't worry. They aren't allowed to leave campus unless they are with a parent or if they have the right documents. In that case, then we're in the clear. What? We've seen enough. Time to abort this mission. Well, this is awkward. Layla? Hey, honey. What a coincidence. Students, what are you doing outside of campus? You know you can get expelled. And you, son? I did not expect this behavior. David, you work here as well. 
The barista job really doesn't pay well. Maybe you should raise the salary just a bit. Young people, you are in serious trouble. <laughs> and so are you. That dinner didn't cover the thousand dollar compensation for the door mix-up. <clears throat> well then, I suppose I could arrange something. You know, there, there is a river on campus, but it is closed off. I was scared to let you students bathe in it, even though it's small. I suppose I can make it an official part of campus. It is spring after all, summer's coming up. I suppose you students will like it. That's awesome, Dad! You, Justin, should know that our conversation isn't over. You should know better for a man who is 18. Don't you think you are the reason for my behavior? You're the only one who I can look up to in life! This is a fancy place. Let's not let our emotions take over. Now is not the time for drama. Chop chop everyone. Back to campus. Mom, why did you come here? Once I heard that you were in the boys dorm, I lost it. I just wanted to protect you. Mom, you know how much I love you. I'm just like you. I can deal with all situations myself. Wasn't my independence the main idea behind studying in another city? But you promised you would call me. Honey, why didn't you do that? I am so sorry. I forgot. Let me set a reminder. Where is my phone? I probably forgot it back in the dorm. A lost phone! Spicy.